Your support does not go unnoticed. These students enter the next phase of their Air Force career with your continued support. At this time, would graduates take a moment to introduce their guests? My father, Jerry. manager began their career by taking this first step, including your instructors, attachment chief, enlisted manager, and career field manager. Look at your achievement. Have pride in these steps taken to reach this point. The graduating airmen here today are the end result of 60 de 67 very challenging academic days. The EM apprentice course occurs on four locations on Fort Leonard, Missouri. This course begins in the Maneuver Support Center of Excellence complex, home of the Army Military Police, Engineer, Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Schools. Here, students undertake two instructional blocks, Emergency Management Program, Protective and Support Equipment. Next, our students go to Bad Airfield, Training Area 219, for four instructional blocks. These blocks are Seaburn Detection Equipment, All Hazards Operations, Nuclear Operations, and Chemical and Biological Operations. Our students then return to the MISCO complex for Seaburn Control Center operations and plume modeling, as well as hazardous materials awareness training. After completing this instruct instruction, students go to an intense 12 academic day Seaburn re responders <coughs> course at the First Lieutenant Joseph, Her Joseph Terry Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Responder Training Facility. Once students finish at the Terry facility, they are fully certified hazardous materials technicians. For the final week, students attend the Chemical Defense Training Facility where they operate in an environment with live nerve agents. After completing this training, students return to the MISCO complex for their final instruction, instruction, instruction fundamentals. Today, your steps have earned you the privilege to wear both a civil engineer and emergency management occupational badges. You become part of a new family. Your new family meets challenges head on, exceeds all expectations. Our family is the first to arrive and the last to leave. Our family is the backbone of today's Expeditionary Air Force. The instructors take great pride in graduating EM apprentice students and preparing them for service to and in our family. Students have learned and displayed military standards required of them as professional airmen and demonstrated their grasp on all course objectives. The skills you have learned will be critical to your future duties as emergency management apprentices as this is the Air Force Specialty Awarding Course, each graduate has earned the apprentice skill level in the Emergency Management Career Field and the privilege to wear both the Civil Engineer and Emergency Management Occupational Badges. The Civil Engineer Basic Occupational Badge is awarded upon successful technical training completion. Our Emergency Management Badge's basic insignia is two cross beakers or retorts behind a benzene ring. The badge which was originally adopted in 1917 by U.S. Army Chemical Service. The badge's design alludes to our chemical-related functions. The benzene ring is a starting point for the method of indicating the molecular composition of the chemical combination. The ring has six points, one for each atom of carbon and hydrogen, as the formula for benzene is C6H6. Furthermore, the emergency management badge contains the retort as it is a basic container used for laboratory experiments. As emergency management professionals, we work closely with the Department of Defense, civil and international specialists who recognize this insignia as the universal Seaburn identifier. Before they graduate and earn the badges we just discussed, FAF class 15017 has prepared a video they would like to share with you showcasing their learning here at Fort Leonard. Our family. EM Apprentice Course 15017, prepare to graduate. West, that's good. Roy Major Allen, Dave. the 364th Training Squadron Detachment 1 Commander, and Chief Donahoe, Chief Enlisted Manager, please come forward to present certificates and pin on occupational badges for EM Apprentice Corps, EM Apprentice Class 15017. Again, please feel free to take photos at any time. 
Now graduating, the United States Air Force Emergency Management Apprentice Course, Staff Sergeant Jake Javadi, going to the 914th Civil Engineer Squadron, Niagara Air Reserve Station, New York. Now graduating, Senior Airman Joseph Bernard, going to the, the 439th Airlift Wing, Westover, Massachusetts. Now graduating, Senior Airman Tracy Bettendorf, going to the 446th Civil Engineer Squadron, Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington. Now graduating, Senior Airman Daniel Perez, going to the 913th Airlift Group Air Reserve, Little Rock Air Force Base, Arkansas. Now graduating, Airman First Class, Janaldine Arias, going to the 143rd Civil Engineer Squadron, Quonset Point, Air National Guard Base, Rhode Island. Now graduating, Airman Barry Dunmar, going to the 60th Air Mobility Wing, Travis Air Force Base, California. Now graduating, Airman Basic Amber Doshadis, going to the 509th Bomb Wing, Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. Now graduating, Airman Basic Renee Ibarrientos, 45th Space Wing, Patrick Air Force Base, Florida. <laughs> now graduating, Airman Basic Brian Landkamer, going to the 628th Civil Engineer Squadron, Joint Base Charleston, South Carolina. Now graduating, Airman Basic, Brooklyn Madsen, going to the 19th Airlift Wing, Little Rock Air Force Base, Arkansas. Thank you, Chief Dono. Graduating is an achievement in and of itself. While attending this course, some students earn an Academic Achievement Award. This award required a student to maintain a 91% grade point average or higher have no academic washbacks or adverse disciplinary action. As I call your name, please come forward. Staff Sergeant Jake Javadi with a grade point average of 91%. For those students who have been awarded academic achievement, your instructor and attachment staff applaud your accomplishment. Challenge coins are traditionally given to prove membership when challenged and enhance morale. Today we are recognizing you as airmen in the emergency management career field. One challenge coin origin story highlights a pilot being shot down and captured during World War I. This pilot had a small leather pouch with a squadron medallion in it, and when he escaped, he used it to prove his identity and allegiance, which prevented him from being executed. Back at his squadron, it became tradition to ensure all members carry their medallion or coin at all times by challenging members. A challenger would ask to see the medallion. If the challenge could not produce the medallion, they were required to buy a drink of choice for the member who challenged them. If the challenge member produced the medallion, then the challenging member was required to pay for the drink. Class leader, prepare your fellow classmates for the coining ceremony. Flat stench hook. Right piece. Forward pitch.
left his parade his. Well, Chief Master Sergeant Moss, AFIMSC, Civil Engineer, Chief Enlisted Manager, will be coining emergency management's newest family members, as well as Technical Sergeant Zerby will be assisting him. As you receive your coins, we challenge you to carry it at all times with pride. One EM coin side contains the text 39X1 in emergency management, clearly aligning your allegiance to our career field. The three internationally recognized symbols for chemical, biological, and nuclear defense are also on this coin side. This reminds us, as emergency managers, we need to be ready to respond to all hazards all the time. The other side of the coin contains USAF Seaburn Defense. Our career field is critical to the defense of the United States of America. We are the chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear defense subject matter experts. As we carry this coin, it reminds us we are part of something bigger than ourselves. We are a part of a family that, that takes care of even a bigger family, the Air Force and our nation. Also, on this coin side, in the center is a triangle with the words Air Base Operability, Disaster Preparedness, and Full Spectrum Operations. Our career field has been through many changes over the years. This coin serves us to remind us of our past, but focuses on the future. The closing mantra on this coin are five Latin words, instro pro pessimus, spiro optimus. As EMers, we must ensure force survivability and mission continuation. Generally speaking, we do this by preparing and training the base and its personnel we are entrusted to protect. The mantra is translated is, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Welcome to our career field. Be part of its heritage. Carry your coin and challenge our members. Questage hook. Right he's Forward hitch. They wouldn't be where they are today. Um, I just like to remind you guys uh, that this is just a small portion of the education that you're going to need to succeed in the emergency management career field. So when you get out to those first bases, make sure you're hitting the OJT and your CDCs and get those knocked out. And then I'm sure your instructors will talk to you about further education beyond that. But uh, never stop learning, especially in this career field. There's a, there's a lot of material, and uh, you guys are expected to be the experts in all of it. So um, congrats again, and I look forward to working with you guys in the future. These rocks. Peace. I'm an American. American.